final farewell for the rocket. Tens of thousands pay tribute to the legendary hockey player one last time. End of an epoch in uh, Canadian, in Montreal history. And Lynn Robson with some of the stories from the fans at Maurice Richard's funeral. Good evening. Maurice Richard once talked about fading from the public eye and being replaced by a new generation of heroes. But today, as they did half a century ago, thousands of people gathered in Montreal to celebrate the man they called the Rocket. They also gathered to say goodbye. A grand funeral was held for one of hockey's greatest players, a star whose legend and popularity went well beyond his sport. Our coverage begins with Tom Kennedy. The rocket could always attract a crowd. Tens of thousands lined the route he sometimes took as a young man when he was a champion, when Stanley Cup parades through Montreal were commonplace. It was a long time ago. Quebec never forgot. At Notre Dame Cathedral, thousands more, including a few who played with Richard, aged with him, and who watched as he became a Quebec icon. This has been going on for uh, for 50 years and more. <clears throat> I think a lot of people identified themselves to Maurice. Uh, they wanted to be like him. Also, some of those who played against him. Thank you for making this game a very popular game so we could come along and make a living with it. And, and we like to beat him and he liked to beat us, but today we're all with him. And today's players, the politicians, prime ministers, past and present. Oh, it's a big lot. He was a friend, and uh, I met him many times, and I was supposed to go fishing with him this spring. And unfortunately, we could not. There was some kind of a collective transfer of uh, people's hopes and aspirations in this man, in this only one man. And it was certainly quite a burden for him, but he discharged it very well. Arriving with him, those who will miss him the most, Richard's wife, his seven children, his grandchildren, brothers and sisters. They were all here to mourn a man who was born to a Montreal working class family who became an athlete and who often described himself as just a hockey player. He was wrong. The Archbishop of Montreal, Jean-Claude Turcotte. Intense. Passionné. Richard was an intense man, he said, who felt passion for his sport, for his family, and his people. Richard was also a man who loved fishing, and the Archbishop's final words. Bon repos, Maurice. Bonne pêche. Have a good rest, Maurice, and good fishing. And Richard's son, Maurice Jr., who said he had a message from the entire family. D'accepter le départ de, de Maurice, mon père. Accept his passing with joy, he said. My father had a full life, surrounded with love. He had a phenomenal career, and if he is watching today, he'd be very proud. Merci à tous. It was one of the biggest public funerals ever held in Montreal. People paid their respects as they could. Quebec star Jeanette Renault did it by singing. Ceux qui sont bon, ceux qui the words are a tribute to those who go away. A tribute to a man who was the greatest scorer of his time. A ruthless competitor who even 40 years after he retired remained one of the greatest sports heroes in Canada's history. And for the last time, the city said goodbye. Tom Kennedy, CBC News, Montreal. Richard had a magical connection with fans, and along with the dignitaries today, it was also their turn to pay a final tribute to the rocket. That story from Lynn Robson. An early morning cup of coffee, one last look yeah, at their souvenirs. He gave us his picture and he signed it. Then Ross and Donna Francis were on their way, hoping for a front row view and a chance to bid farewell to Maurice Richard. They arrived an hour and a half before the funeral, but thousands of others were already there. I was here at quarter to eight. Every piece of sidewalk within view of the basilica was jealously guarded. They'd come to see the politicians, the famous hockey stars. The mood was positively giddy. 
Dickie Moore, my brother. She says, I already have autographs from Dickie Moore, Mike Bradell, and Ken Dryden. Then the coffin arrived. The atmosphere changed suddenly. Actually, I was thinking of my grandfather. It was hard on Donna, too. Because of my father's connection. Her father worked at the forum and knew the rocket. The funeral service started. It may have been beautiful inside, but down here on the sidewalk, there was no view of the big TV screen. Instead, they chatted quietly about what brought them all together. It's the end of an epoch in uh, Canadian, in Montreal history. A unique event, a unique man, he says. Richard's death from cancer has added meaning for Ross Francis. He's also fighting cancer. I didn't think I'd be here today, and I'm thankful for every day. They missed the pomp and ceremony inside. They struggled to catch every word, but the emotion of the day was not lost on anyone. can't express my expressions how wonderful this is. Then after four days of tributes and mass mourning, it was all over. Their icon, their rocket, was truly gone. There was nothing left to do but go home. Lynn Robson, CBC News, Montreal.